Hola chicos, empezamos en dos minutos. Hello. Hello, hello, ¿me escuchan? Hi, teacher. Hola, Hi, chicos. good evening. Good evening, how are you today? Hi, teacher. Sorry. Now, I was having problem with my internet. Estoy teniendo un poquito de que se va y se viene el internet, pero por segundos. Me dicen si en algún momento no me escuchan, ¿ok? Ok. Si por, por alguna razón... 
se va el internet, como decimos nosotros, me avisan inmediatamente. Solo déjenme apagar esto. Ok. Good. How are you? Uy, qué poquito hay. ¿Qué pasa? Hoy que vino Flor temprano y poquito, Dios mío. Se han dormido, chichar. <ríe> Se han dormido. Déjenme escribirles acá. Mi Matías está, mire, ve qué raro. Uy. No, no, teacher, aquí estoy, teacher. Ahí está. Uy. <ríe> Ok, ya tenemos acá. Let me call the attendance first. Ahí pasamos la asistencia rapidito y luego seguimos. Termina, finalizamos este día, chicos, la semana 1. We finish unit 1, right? And we go here with Alba Dinora Vides Castillo. Present. Alfredo Alexander Rodas Rodríguez. Present. Carla Marisa Sánchez Mesa. Present. Carlos Gualberto Rodríguez. Cristina Roxana Romero de Araujo. Domingo Alexander González. Present. José Matías Lemos Ramírez. José Matías. Present, teacher. Present, Thank present. you. Karina Yamilete Espinosa Ventura. En Elizabeth Danegas Lemos, Luis Enrique Bonilla Sosa, Marilyn Elizabeth Rodríguez de Pimentel, Maril eh, thank you. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia, Maydeli Judith Díaz Rivera, Nancy Lizeth Rodríguez Escoto, present teacher. Sandra Yamilet Velázquez Beltrán. Santos Rigoberto Hernández Romero. Ya dijo present, 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 tres veces. Silvia del Carmen Flor de María Rodríguez. Presente. Víctor David Salazar Calzadilla. Walter Daniel González Pérez. William Eduardo Pérez García. Ok. Now, let's continue here. Sí. Ok. Let's go ahead and connect. Let's continue with the class. Ok. So yesterday we were working with the exercise. You were supposed to work with an exercise. Right, ustedes se supone que debían de haber trabajado con un ejercicio. Today we are in videoconferencia number five. Right, mm -hmm. videoconferencia número cinco. Simple present review and practice. Right, that's what we're supposed to you to do. Now, did you finish the exercise that we had from yesterday? Terminaron el ejercicio? Yes, yeah, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Yes, the exercise was very easy, right? So it's sencillo, pienso yo. Let's go ahead and check it out. So -so. What? So -so. No? So so. Okay. So what so -so. do we have here yes. in the exercise? Right? For this exercise, we answer one to three. Let's go ahead and answer number four to thirteen together. Right? That's what we're going to do, number four to 13 together. Now, number four, uh, Silvia, what do you have in number four? Ahorita le digo. Ahorita le escribimos entonces. Number four, doesn't yes. cook. Does not cook, okay, doesn't cook. cook. Okay. Leah's mother doesn't cook breakfast for her. Very good. That's the correct answer. Leah's mother doesn't cook breakfast for her. Now, what about number five? Right. Number five, 
please tell me the answer, uh, Alfredo. Lisa has. Has, uh huh. Breakfast at, um, at coffee at a coffee shop at about. Um, seventy fifteen in the morning in the morning well done now please read the complete sentence alfredo lea la oración completa por favor okay teacher dia has breakfast at coffee shop at about 7:15 in the morning about 7:15 in the morning very well thank you so much you. now let's continue with number 6 Number six, Marlon. Leah yeah, doesn't have classes in the morning. Doesn't have classes in the morning. Very good. Doesn't have classes in the morning. Very well. Number seven. Let's do this number seven. Let's see here, Cristina. Teacher, no entiendo el ejercicio porque ayer me quedé a medias en la clase y no hice la tarea. No tuve tiempo. ¿Cómo? Teacher, una consulta. ¿Qué es, Matías? Porque es Lisa Dassen How y no Lisa Dassen, Lia, perdón, Lia Dassen has. Because we're using the auxiliary does. When we use the auxiliary does, then the verb goes back to the base form. Mm, okay. Hmm? Using okay. Like, just the same as doesn't cook. We don't say doesn't cooks, right? We say doesn't cook. Okay. okay. Now that you're speaking, Matias, what's the answer for number seven? I don't know. Okay. She works from from nine nine p.m. or nine 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 a.m. to five a.m. No, five p.m. from mm -hmm. Monday to Friday. From Monday, 9 p.m., from Monday to Friday, okay? From Monday to Friday. Okay, perfect. She works from 9 to, in this case, will be a.m. Instead of a.m., we're gonna put from 9 to 5, from Monday to Friday, okay? Very good. Let's continue okay. with number eight. Number eight. Help me with number eight, Maritza. Let me see number eight. She also studies at a business school because she wants to start a business in Indonesia someday. someday. Very good, very good. She wants to start a business in Indonesia. Repeat, Indonesia. Now, let's continue, Alba, number nine. She has a class from this to night and night on Tuesday and Thursday. Okay, very good. Now, from six to nine at night, very good. Right. From Tuesday on 
or from? What will be here? On or from? What do you think, guys? Yo lo tengo como on. On, okay, on, uh -huh. on Tuesday and Friday. Very good, that's the correct answer. Now repeat with me, Tuesday. Tuesday. Thursday. Thursday. On, th on Tuesday and Thursday. On Tuesday and Thursday. Excellent, excellent job. Domingo, number 10. Lia uh, does has many friends at Toronto. Like this? I see. Many friends in Toronto, huh? I have to say you are. Repeat your answer, please. <clears throat> Not dance, it's dance hats. Many friends in Toronto. Das has, así lo tengo, das has. Many das friends has. in Toronto. Dance. But it's, it's in negative. How do you pronounce the negative? Dance has. The answer is incorrect. La respuesta es incorrecta. Fíjese que está en negativo, Domingo, y usted puede hacer el negativo. ¿Cuál es el negativo de das? Se ha cortado. Se le trabó el inter. Sí, yo no lo escuchaba. Se ha cortado. Sí, che, se le está trabando. Ok, wait a moment. Dancing. 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 Doesn't, okay? And what is... Doesn't. Doesn't. Uh -huh. How do I put the verb? ¿Cómo pongo el verbo principal? Lia doesn't? Have many, many friends in Toronto. Lia doesn't have many friends in Toronto. Por favor, cambie su respuesta. Toronto. Okay. Okay. Let's continue with number 11. Marilyn. She doesn't go out on weekend. She doesn't go out on weekends. Perfect. Yes. Nancy, 12. She is B. Uh, she is uh, No, permítame, teacher. Porque tienen que decir forma negativa, ¿verdad? No. She, no. 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 That's correct. Mm -hmm. She is. She is only. Yes. Okay. Si ahí en el ejercicio no le muestra la palabra not, usted déjelo en positivo. Mm -hmm. And okay. Carlos, go with number 13. Don't miss her friends in Indonesia. Repeat. She she don't miss her friends in Indonesia. Okay. Can I use don't with the auxiliary here? With she? Mrs. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar que debo usar, Carlos? Mrs. Mrs. No. Mrs. No. Permítame un momento, ya le envío el link. Uh -huh. Do not. No. Doesn't miss. 
doesn't. Miren lo que han estado utilizando doesn't. sus compañeros con Lía. ¿Ok? Pero, okay. ¿Pero qué? ¿Pero es qué? positiva la, la oración. Exactly. In this case, it's positive. If it is positive, we put only misses. Right? Misses. Oh, misses. Oh, okay. If it is positive. Pero también, okay. Carlos, tiene que quedarle claro que cuando es negativo, tiene que utilizar doesn't. Si es negativo, doesn't. Para she, he, and it. ¿Ok? Carlos. Yes, maestra. Ok. Thank you so much. Can I erase this? ¿Puedo borrar esto? ¿Copiaron las respuestas? Véanlas y díganme no, si tienen preguntas. A mí, a mí me salieron tres malas, pero yo las corregí. Ya las corrigió. ¿Ok? Sí. ¿Y tiene preguntas con esas tres malas? ¿O ya entendió por qué estaban malas? Sí, entendí por qué estaban malas. Solo... Okay. Teacher, yo no las hice porque no logré este, la factura que tomé ayer, me salió entre borrosa. Entonces no logré resolverlas, pero así entre medio y medio iba resolviendo. Ok, copia entonces para que practique después, ok. Solo en la número 5 tengo duda cómo es que por la respuesta. ¿En qué parte tiene duda, Domingo? El día, en hacks, porque no, no usamos hacks, sino que hacks. Es que la, cuando, ajá, tal vez ya estaba haciendo la uh, tratando de entender en español, quizás ahí me confundo. Es que no la traduzca, mm. porque le va a costar. Porque la traducción correcta de esa oración es que Lisa desayuna en un café alrededor de las 7 y 5 en la mañana. Esa, esa es la traducción que usted le puede dar. Si usted la traduce palabra por palabra, no le va a entender porque... Si la traducimos de forma literal, word for word, como se dice en lingüística, va a decir, Lía tiene desayuno en una venta de café a las cerca de las 7.15 en la mañana. No tiene sentido, así como hablamos nosotros en español. Entonces no la traduzca, no se complique en traducirlo. Trate de entender lo que dice. Si usted entiende de estas, diez, de estas tres oraciones, si usted entendió cinco... Perfecto. Porque llevamos cinco semanas apenas de estar trabajando con inglés. Right? Ok. Si usted entendió cinco oraciones, good. Si entendió una, perfect. Right? Uh -huh. Porque así vamos aprendiendo. Porque hace cinco semanas no, no podía entender ninguna. Right? Y ahora sí. Entonces ya hay ganancia. Pero no las traduzca porque eh, eh, traducir es otro rollo. Right? Okay. Okay. Copiemos las respuestas, así como hizo Domingo, por favor, que ya tiene, ya tiene en las correctas, porque voy a quitar eso y ya no lo vamos a poder ver. Ok, sigo acá. Let's continue with the next activity. Right. Continuamos con la siguiente actividad. Right. In the next activity. We, this is a reminder of the simple present, ¿ok? Porque me han dicho esta semana, ¿pueden ver el cuadro del simple present? Yes. Yes, ok. Pero no está, está muy, muy, muy amplio. Está muy amplio. Ajá, digo yo. ¿No? ¿Se ve bien? Yes, La okay. pantalla de él quizás ha hecho, la, lo, ha hecho el ajuste. ¿Cómo? Una pantalla de él, quizás le he hecho el ajuste o algo así, porque yo lo veo bien. Ah, ok. Ok. Now, look at this simple present, ok? We're just going to go over it like we did last Monday, right? And we're going to give examples. Vayan escribiendo sus propios ejemplos. Vamos a subir una pieza. What? Ok, vamos a enviarle, permítame, vamos a enviarle un... un el link a William porque no puede entrar. Deme un segundo. Okay. Okay. Domingo. Domingo, ya Eso. lo pudiste ver completo. Sí. 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 ¿Qué, ¿Qué yes. tenía en su pantalla, Domingo? Okay. 
Me había zoom. apretado ese, ese sé creo que le había apretado, pero es que le había hecho peque así pequeño. Tenía que darle dos clics encima de la imagen para que le quedara acabando. Ya, 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 ya está. Gracias. Ok, perfecto. Now, I'm going to show you again this. Les muestro de nuevo acá. ¿O ya me escuchan mejor? Yes. Sí. Igual, igual, no es poquito lo que traba a veces. Pero no es mucho, ¿me sí, entiende? Sí, no, no. Yo creo que yo quizás tengo problema con mi Inter. Voy a revisar mi, mi modem y me vuelvo a conectar. Ok. Let me show you. So, we have here the simple present, right? With the simple present that we have, right? We have there first what we need to remember. And in this presentation, you can see that we have divided the simple present in two options, right? Hemos dividido el simple present, y eso es bueno, right? We can see that we have divided the simple present in I, you, we, they, and we have divided it in he, she, it, right? So we can notice what is the difference, right? We see here that the verb is work and it is works, right? So we notice that we have there the rule of S, right? Aquí tenemos exactamente los dos grupos principales. I, you, I, you, we, you, they, and an example with names, Tom and Sue. It can be Domingo and Marlon, Marley and Alfredo, right? So we can change this subject pronouns into names, right? Now, we have three rules that we need to pay attention to. Tenemos tres reglas que debemos de prestar atención, right? The first one. Use the simple present to talk about habits or routines, schedules, and fast, right? Habits or routines, schedules, and fast. Let's read the examples. Veamos los ejemplos, right? Let's take a look at the examples. Walter, read the first example, habit or routine. Habit or routine, I exercise every day. Thank you. Read number two, Walter. Uh, a schedule, she starts work at eight. Very good. Fact. Fact, it rains a lot in April. Very good. In El Salvador, we can say, it is very hot in April, right? We can say it's it's sunny, right? In April, for example, right? The water boils at 35 degrees. The sun sets at 6 p.m. Right? Examples that we can say it's a fact. Now we have these examples. I want you to do me a favor, and you're going to write an example. You're going to write an example right now. Van a escribir un ejemplo. Right? You're going to write an example for habit, for schedule, and for fact. Right? Usted va a escribir en estos momentos sus propios ejemplos haciendo énfasis en el hábito o la rutina, en el horario, schedule, or in fact. Hagan por lo menos dos oraciones de esos tres. Escojan si van a ser de hábito de horario o de un hecho real. Todos, todos vamos a hacer nuestras propias oraciones. Let's do it.
Did you finish? Teacher, yes, yes, what is your question? Teacher. ¿Cuál es su pregunta, Nancy? Ah, sí, teacher, este, cualquiera de esas tres vamos a elegir y vamos a hacer dos ejercicios. Por lo menos dos oraciones. Una con hábito, una con, con horario o una con eh, hecho real. Por lo menos dos. Si está en computadora o en tablet, borre las cookies de su computadora o de su tablet para que pueda conectarse. Que a veces eso es lo que no nos deja conectarnos. Did you finish? ¿Terminaron? Sí. No. Sí. No, no se no. duerma. Despierten. Vamos. It's Friday. Después de eso se pueden ir a bailar. Cabalito, van a salir a la hora exacta para ir a bailar. Teacher, una consulta. Consúlteme cinco dólares. Hábito routine. Puede ser con it. ¿Con qué? Con it. It. Tell me the example. ¿Qué ejemplo va a escribir? It's flying in the sky. The, the sentence is perfect. It is flying in the sky. La oración está perfecta, Matías, pero no está en simple present. It is in present progressive. No está en simple present. It is flying, me está diciendo usted. No concuerda con el tiempo verbal que estamos practicando. Pero está perfecta. Teacher, yo tengo una, pero, o sea, tengo varias, pero, pero hay una que sí quisiera que me dijera si está bien o no. Dele, ¿cuál es? The time never stops. That is for fact. Mm -hmm. The time never stops. Wonderful job. Escríbala en el chat para que sus compañeros la puedan ver. Okay. Yo, yo, igual, todavía todavía he, quedado, he quedado así porque no lo entendí. Tío. El porque que no ha entendido, muestra, es, que, es que según la muestra, la, 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 el ejemplo dice: hay exercise, creo que, ajá, every day. Ajá. Ese es simple present. Yes, we are in simple ajá. present. We but haven't changed our tense. No hemos cambiado nuestro tiempo verbal. But, ¿Y por qué el mío dice que no? O sea, Because it is in present progressive, honey. It is in present progressive. We are not in present progressive yet. You say, it is flying in the sky. No, dije it. Is. Dije it. Solo it. Say, it flies in the sky. No, ahora ya lo cambio. Ya mañana va a oír la, la conversación. Lo voy a poner a oír todos los videos de lo que dice y de, a ver, esa va a ser su tarea suya, solamente suya, para que vea cómo después se retracte lo que dice. Usted está fragmentado como el de la película. 
<risa> it is flying in the sky. It is flying in the sky. Si usted me dice, it is flying in the sky. Es el verbo to be, no. Exacto, está borrado. mala. Pero si pero me no dice, it flies. It flies in the sky. That, that one is perfect. It flies in the sky. Esa está Aparte, correcta. Entonces, Después estaba bien, va. Ahora sí está bien. Dije si sí, yo ni le he borrado. Lo que pasa es que no me, no le, no me entendió de primero entonces. Le dije, seguro que le dije mal. Pero si sí, ni he borrado nada. Sí. It flies in the sky. Sí, Matías, pero... está bien. Y estaba bien sí. también, Matías. No voy a pelear con usted. No me preocupe. Ya es Carlos Gualberto. Este, tiene que llevar el iris. En, antes en la oración. No. No es no. necesario. No, Porque es el lento de Matías. Tengo... Uh -huh. <ríe> este, tengo Christmas is celebrated in December. Christmas. No, we're going to put there uh, children celebrate Christmas in December. ¿Por qué no? Su oración está perfecta, pero está en un tiempo verbal que se llama passive voice. Okay? Christmas is celebrated in December. The sentence is correct. Okay? Quiero quedar claro en eso. La oración está correcta. Okay? Pero está en voz pasiva. Es en passive voice. Entonces, si usted la quiere hacer en forma activa para utilizarla en simple present, va a decir, the children celebrate Christmas in December. Okay. The children celebrate Christmas in December. Yes? In December, okay. Sí, yo tengo dos, pero no sé si están correctas. Me avisa, porfa. Uh -huh. uh, she work in the house. Repeat. The, the word is house. She works in the house. Sí. She. She works in the house. Repeat. She works in the house. Works. Works. She works in the house. Okay, perfect. Very good. Escriban sus ejemplos en el chat para verlos, por favor. Write them in the chat. Habit or routine. Sure. I Tengo English. otra. Escriba en el chat, por favor. I study English every day. Very okay. Good. That's a routine. Excellent, Rigoberto. Write your examples in the chat. I always have breakfast. Okay? Give me give me the routine. Marlon, I always have breakfast. I try to work every day. Very good, Alba. I eat party a lot in Cojutepeque. Mm, eat party who? En ese caso, recuérdese que eat es una cosa o un animal. Entonces, mm -hmm. Es mejor decir en este caso, I party a lot in Cojutepeque. Okay? I party. Yo, I party. I party a lot in Cojutepeque. I uh -huh. get up at 4.30 a.m. I try to work every day. Si me refiero a un lugar, siempre voy a ocupar el I. No, es que el error es el uso del sujeto que está haciendo. Está utilizando it. It is for animals, for things, and for babies. Por eso vamos a cambiarlo por I, she, we, they. They party a lot in Cojutepeque. Marilyn party, parties a lot in Cojutepeque. Lo malo okay. de esa oración es el sujeto. Lo demás está perfecto. Ok. Ok. I eat every day. I write reports in the afternoon every day. She practices English at 8 p.m. 
I travel to my work every day. Very good. I drink coffee every day at 4 p.m. Perfect. I exercise in the morning. She starts work at 10. Summer starts in March. Very good, Santos. Summer starts in March. I wake up at six from Monday to Friday. I never sleep in my work. The tiger lives in the jungle. Mm -hmm. It rainbows in the sky. In this case, Matias, you can say it rainbows in the sky after the rain, después de la lluvia. Para darle más que un, un hecho factual. It rainbows in the sky after the rain, right? I exercise. I travel to my work every day. She does the very good people. She does the work of two people. He enjoys his English class. You work very hard. Of course, I work very hard. She does, she does the work of two people, right? I take my breakfast at six. I drink water. You know, he had sabon. William, perfect. He had sabon. Very good. Ese es mi ejemplo, fíjese, del módulo uno. It has a bond. Ya me acuerdo. It has a bond. Every night it rains. <laughs> it rains every night, yes. Every night it rains. Very good. So that's when we use the, right, the simple present with the examples. Let's read number two. Number two says, pay attention, please. Add S to the verb for he, she, it, and singular subjects. He drives to work. She works in an office. The bank opens at 9 a.m., right? So in this case, right, we need to also remember, right, that we add S to the verse for he, she, it, and singular subjects. Why singular subjects? Because singular subjects are it. The bank opens at 9 a.m. That's a fact, right? Now, let's read number three. Do not put, it says here, right? Do not put B in front of another verb in the simple present. Miren acá. Este se las traigo para que no recordemos, okay? We're gonna put it in orange. Do not put B, right? See, do not put B in front of another verb in the simple present. No se puede, señores, no se puede, right? He works at a bank, perfect. He is work at a bank, incorrect, right? So we need to pay attention to these examples, right? Because they are well written, right? He works at a bank, perfect. He is work at a bank, mm -mm. big no, no, right? Está incorrecto. Vemos los ejemplos de aquí abajo? Yes. Yes. Do you have questions yes. about the simple present? Teacher. Yes. En la en la número dos, yo, yo no le entendí porque se lo oía bien cortado. The number two, Matías, is only about using the rule of S in the verse in simple present. Teacher, lo mismo, lo mismo. Teacher, es que se lo oía bien cortado. cortado. No le entiendo, por eso que no le entendí. Echate. Give me a moment. Que para he, she, it se va a usar la S. Exactly. Ah, ok, ok. That's okay, what it gracias. is. Gracias, Marilyn. Give me a moment. Okay. Ok, 
Ok. ¿Me escucha mejor? Sí, ahorita no yes, te he Ok. Ahorita no, sí. Ahora, le explicaba, como le acaba de decir Marilyn, right? la única ciencia acá, Matías, es, esta es una repetición, no es Pero nada nuevo. Un... Ok. Sí, ¿Ah? sí. Sí, ya, ya, le, ya le entendí. Era... Ok, pero ahora sí, me sí. va a escuchar. Okay. Okay. No es nada nuevo lo que estamos viendo acá del de simple present. Okay. Es una repetición de lo que estamos haciendo de la vez anterior. Ok, so what is the repetition that we have? Right, is that we are going to use the rule of S, right, in all of the verbs when we use he, she, and it, right? Now, we have different rules that we are going to use. The rules that we have, right, is when we have a verb that ends in E, we add S. When we have a verb that ends in Y, but is previously followed by a consonant, we delete the Y and we add IES. For example, cry, right? She cries a lot, in the morning. The baby cries a lot in the morning. So we need to use, right, the rule of S every time that we're using simple present, right? And now the last one, right, is that we never put the verb be in front of the verse in simple present. Si estamos utilizando el simple present, no tenemos por qué utilizar el verbo to be antes del verbo de acción. Porque si lo hacemos, simple y sencillamente su oración está incorrecta. Right? So that, that is the recap, that is the summary that we have for the simple present. Ahora, preguntas? Yo. Mari. Yo, teacher. Este, no me queda claro o, o no logro entender cuando una oración en, en presente simple está positiva. Eh, porque unas llevan el do, 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 das, y otras no lo llevan, de un solo llevan el verbo. ¿Y negativo? No, no, positivas, positivas. Las negativas siempre van a llevar el do o el das, o el pero dasen. las positivas no. Pero las Exacto. positivas no, o sea, no siempre. ¿Por qué? O sea, ¿cómo, cómo sé o cómo entiendo esa regla? Ninguna, no pos regla? ninguna positiva lleva do y das. Solo las preguntas. Yo había sacado una en, en el ejemplo. ¿Cuál era? Escríbala. Espérenme. Espérenme, espérenme, que no la tengo. Déjeme ver si la encuentro yo aquí también. She does the work of, of the people, of two people. Ah, she does the work of the people. Pero ahí, Marilyn, no es, does no está funcionando como un auxiliar. Das está funcionando como el verbo principal. It is the main uh -huh. verb. Right? Recuérdense que das es un verbo. Es el verbo. O sea que cuando. Hacer. hacer ajá. O sea que cuando, cuando funciona como verbo, sí va. Pero de lo contrario, solamente va la. Exactamente. Pregunta. Por ejemplo, Uy. sí. Exacto. Para negativos y preguntas. Perfecto. Y para respuestas okay. cortas, ¿ok? Pero, por vale. ejemplo, Marilyn... Pues sí claro. Perfecto. Si yo quiero hacer su oración positiva, she does the work of two people. ¿Cómo haríamos esa, esa oración en negativo? Hmm. Agreguémosle solo el auxiliar. What? She doesn't... She doesn't... Do. Exacto. She doesn't do the work of two people. She is very lazy. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay. Gracias. Ahí la vamos a ver. Pero si es verbo principal, sí. Dele con todo. Okay. okay. Very good. That's a great question. Esa es una pregunta muy buena. Otra pregunta por allá. Sandra, Víctor, William, Silvia, preguntas. Walt, Alberto. que cuando eh, para digamos que en esa en esa answer no ejemplo uh -huh. en ese ejemplo uh -huh. que dice his work at the bank para hacerla que sirva que sirva la, la oración 
Tien, tendría que ir, he is working at the bank, ¿verdad? Así yes. sí se puede, ¿verdad? Yes, that one is correct. Pero eso es otro tiempo verbal. Sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. sí no, yo, 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 pero estaría correcta porque en, en sí esa, en ningún tiempo está correcta, ¿verdad? En ninguno. He is work at a bank en ninguno. Está mal dicho. Pero en la forma que no estaba escribiendo, yes, es así. ¿Ok? Ok. Can we continue? ¿Continuamos? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's continue. Sí, we sure. have here, yes? Yo tengo una, pero no sé si está correcta. Ok. En the book, para decir libro, teacher. Book. Can you say book? Bueno, mirar. How do you say mirar? Depende. Puedo decirlo de cinco formas. Mirar. Dígame su oración en español, Nancy. Eh, él mira su teléfono. Él mira su teléfono. Sí. He is watching his phone. Okay. Si lo quiere escribir en simple present. He watches his phone. He watches his phone. Yes, he watches his phone. Okay. Seguimos. Paramos. Paramos. A las diez. Okay. <laughs> Let's continue. These are some questions, right, that we're going to continue here. It says, um, Carlos Gualberto, can you read the instructions? Lea la instrucción acá. Write a six line paragraph about the event and activities you do in your company. Follow the prompt. Okay, follow the prompts. What are the prompts? The prompts are these questions. Okay. We have different questions that we're going to follow, right? Estas son preguntas, guías que ustedes pueden seguir o no seguir. Va a depender de ustedes, right? Silvia, can you please read question one and two? What is the typical day at your workplace? What do you do at 8 a.m.? Mm -hmm. Very good. Continue there, Matias, three and four. What teacher? Three and four. Three okay. and four. What time do you start working? What are some activities you do in your workplace? Okay, very good, Alfredo, five and six. No le escuchamos, Alfredo. Sorry. What time do you have lunch? What time do you finish your shift? Your shift. Your shift, shift is, for example, my shift at Inglés Corporativo starts at 8 p.m. and it finishes at 10 p.m. Okay, from uh, 8 to 10. Okay. Right? My chief in my other job starts at 7 a.m. and it finishes at 5 p.m. Right? So that's a chief, el horario, horario laboral. Now, o jornada laboral, como le quieran decir. Right? Now, we're going to create a paragraph. You are going to create a paragraph about you. Right? Pueden seguir estas preguntas o pueden escribirlo de forma libre. Right? What is going to be in this paragraph? Activities you do in your workplace every day, right? Or describe a typical day. Describan un día típico en su trabajo, right? Using, using that simple present. Let's start. Let's start. Solo, ten, solo, solo tiempo, simple present. Yes. Sí, verdad, sí, verdad. 
Okay. Okay. Pueden usar el verbo to be si quieren en algún momento, pero el, el, lo principal es utilizar simple present. Verbo to be, por ejemplo, my name is, I am tantos años old, I am 35 years old. Ahí es el simple present, en lo más básico, en la introducción personal. Lo demás, perdón, ahí es el verbo to be, lo demás, simple present. To describe your daily activities, your schedule, your routines. Okay. Let's do it. <clears throat> Dice, yes. entendí, tengo que responder cada pregunta. No, va a escribir un párrafo. Un párrafo. Esas preguntas son solo guías. Si quiere, utilícelas para que se vaya guiando y con base en esa, las respuestas de esas preguntas puede escribir un párrafo. Uh -huh. Si usted gusta. Si no, solamente escríbelo eh, con, lo que va, con lo que vaya pensando que hace en su día. ¿Qué actividades hace en la mañana, en la tarde? Sí. La, la primera pregunta es, ¿cómo es un día típico en tu trabajo, verdad? Uh -huh. Un día común y corriente. Se puede iniciar una oración poniendo in my typical workplace, así. Typical day in my workplace. Typical day in my workplace. A typical day in my workplace. Uh, a, uh -huh. a typical day in my workplace. A tipo, okay. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es typical? Común, corriente. Un día común, tradicional. Uh -huh. Dice que un, un párrafo. Eh, seguido de todo lo que hago. ¿no? O, o, o siempre tengo que seguir poniendo cosita por cosita, parte por parte. O sea, porque. Eh, en mi est eh, que iba a poner. Eh, star, star Day. A 6 a.m. ¿Cuál es el, el sujeto en eso? Star Day. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? Ya, ya, me, ya, me, ya me vi equivocado. Puede escribir el párrafo como usted desee, con solo que describa sus actividades diarias. No olvide el sujeto. I start my day. I. Yo. Siempre tiene que ir el yo. En todas las oraciones. Usted está escribiendo usted mismo. Está escribiendo sus actividades. Did you finish?
Then if you have a question. Me con el bachato. Te voy a poner mute, Marlo. Póngale mute. Let me know when you have finished. Perfect, Kenny. Tienes que escribir seis oraciones, Kenny. Seis, por lo menos, en su párrafo. Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> Qué vida la suya. Bien, Chivo le toca porque solo viendo pasa todo el resto de los días viendo series de Netflix. That is yo, creo que, cool. yo creo que ahí estamos ya, dicho. Hice más de, más de seis, pero a ver okay. si están buenos. Can you read them? Léalas. Mm, cualquiera. Léala toda. Toda la, ok. Uh, a typical day in my workplace. I start day on 6 p.m. I start my day on 6 p.m., Matías. I start my, my day. Oh, okay, my day. Okay, my day. Yeah. I shower in the ¿Cómo morning. ¿Cómo es la oración? I start my day on 6 p.m. ¿Podemos decir on 6 p.m.? ¿Cómo es la forma correcta? At. A 6 p. Y la, empieza su mañana a las 6 de la tarde. PM, dije. PM. No, PM, dije. 
Dije, Vaya, no, siga leyendo. No, no dije, no dije <ríe> bien, tiche, dije bien. Siga leyendo, Matías. Ok. A ese es mi micrófono, el malo, tiche. Sí, eso es ese. Yo soy la que no oigo tanto. No preocupes. 15 años no me han sentido. Bien tóxica se oye, tiche. Ok. I shower in the morning. Ok. Very good. Aquí sí no supe cómo ponerlo, eh, pero. I breakfast from. From. At 7 a.m. A.m. To quarter past 7. ¿Qué pasa, Alfredo? ¿Vea que se pasa? Con los ejemplos que está haciendo, se pasa. Porque eso ya lo hicimos. Estoy segura que nadie va a hacer from at. Marilyn, ¿qué podemos decir from at? Perdón, from to era teacher. From at seven. <risa> Les he dicho yo que pueden decir from at no, seven. No, no, no me equivoqué, teacher. <risa> ya, from, me va a decir que, ya me va a decir que yo escuché mal. Espérame. No, ya me equivoqué, sí. From seven y to quarter past seven y m. Okay. Okay. I drive to work. Mm -hmm. I write order productions. Okay. I cut paper today. Cut. Uh -huh. Cut paper today. I printers paper mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Finish. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you. Who has their paragraph? ¿Quién le, ¿A quién le gustaría leer su párrafo? Veamos. Permítanme, voy a pasar la lista. Antes que Alfredo, siga. Alfredo, dale. Quiere el tuyo. A ver si dice from at también. <risa> from at. <risa> Alba Dinora Vides Castillo. Present. Alfredo Alexander Rodas Rodríguez. Present. Carla Maritza Sánchez Mesa. Present. Carlos Walberto Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Let's see. Cristina Roxana Romero de Araujo. Present. Domingo Alexander González. Present. Thank you. José Matías Lemos Ramírez. Present, present, present. Karina Yamilet Espinosa Ventura. N. Elizabeth Banegas Lemos. Luis Enrique Bonilla Sosa. Marilyn Elizabeth Rodríguez de Pimentel. S. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Present. Maydeli Judith Díaz Rivera. Nancy Lisset Rodríguez Escoto. Present Sandra Yamilet Velázquez Beltrán. Present. Santo Rigoberto Hernández Romero. Silvia del Carmen Flor de María Rodríguez. Present. Víctor David Salazar Calzadilla. Present. Walter Daniel González Pérez. Present teacher. William Eduardo Pérez García. Present. Thank you very much. Now, I would like to listen to a few examples, right? Okay. Un par de ejemplos, veamos acá. A typical day in my workplace, my days at work are never the same. There are days that I start at four in the morning and there are days that I do not leave my house. When the trucks go on trips, I leave early to fuel them, not him, them, and pay the pilot's trip. Then I have to leave travel tickets to the shipping company. Very good. That's a great example, Silvia. Very good. My name is Nancy Rodriguez. I work in Constructora Medina. Typically, I guess, not tropical. Typically, I get up at 6.30 a.m. To go to, to go to work. I arrive, sin ed, porque no estamos en pasado. I arrive at my work at 8 p.m. Very good. Thank you so much. 
right? Thank you so much. Now, who would like to read the example? Silvia está muy bueno. Voy, voy a complacer a Matías, tal vez me equivoqué. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay, a typical day in my life. I wake up at 6 a.m. I have a breakfast around at 7 a.m. And in this moment, usually I drink a cup of coffee with a cookies. Later at 7.30 a.m., I start to work in my office. I supervise the tasks that in this moment the technician do. I have a lunch at 12 p.m. and I return to my work at 1 p.m. I will report for my boss at 4, at 4 p.m. and I finish my shift at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Excellent job, very good. I just have two comments. 30. 30. 30. And later. 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 Siempre se me olvida, sí. Later. Porque, porque later es... Eh, es la carta. Ajá, exacto. O cuero. Cuero. Later es cuero. Right? Later. Very good. Let's see. I work in, on a textile factory. I start work at 8 a.m. My job is to keep the machinery running. Very good, Domingo. Excellent job. Excellent job. Sample. Yes. Yo tengo una pregunta para decir facturación. Se puede decir factory o billing. Bills. Factory. Bill. Es, factory es eh, donde trabaja Domingo. Ay, ¿qué cosa dice? Factory, factory, factory. Fábrica. No es. ¿Cómo se dice se dice su trabajo en español, Domingo? Fábrica. Fábrica, factory mm -hmm. is fábrica. Mm -hmm. Factory is fábrica. Facturación, bills. 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 Or receipts. Mm -hmm. Receipts. Very good. Now, any other question? Preguntas? Ejemplos mm -hmm. que quieran dar? ¿Quieren leer sus párrafos? Ok. <laughs> Ustedes se lo vienen. Es mejor que se equivoquen ya. Right? Es no mejor que se equivoquen. Léalo. Eso sí está bonito. Léalo. Poquito. Ay. Espérame. Ahorita voy. Dice. Ok. A typical day in my workplace. My days at work are, are never the same. There are days that I start at four in the morning and there are days I do not live in my house. When the trucks go on, the, on trips, I leave early to full, full them, dijo, ¿verdad? Full them. Mm -hmm. And pay the pilot mm -hmm. trip, then I have to leave travel tickets on the shipping company. Okay, very good. Just pilots. Pilots. Pilots or drivers. Como son trucks, puede decir drivers instead. Drivers. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Try to, thank you. Leo, Leo el mío para ver cómo, para que me corrija la pronunciación. Good, yes. Uh, I work in the factory textile. I start work at 8 a.m. My job, my hope is to keep the machine running. Okay. My job. My job. My job is to keep the machinery running. Machinery. Machinery. Okay. 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 Very good. Uh, any other example? We have more examples in the chat. Okay. Okay. First, eh, antes de Cristina, eh, creo que fue Walter, ¿verdad? And then Cristina. 
¿O quién fue? No me, no me fijé bien. Yo, Carlos. Carlos, ok. Carlos. Y luego Cristina. A typical day in my workplace start 6 a.m. Taking my breakfast in the coffee shop. Then I go to my boss to give me instruction about my work for mm -hmm. the day. And later I repair the sewing machines, write in the reports by the supervisor until my lunch break. Very good. That was a good example. Thank you, Alberto. And Cristina. I usually get up at uh, 5 a.m. I shower, I cook at my children, I go to work and drive to work. I drink a coffee and begging to work. I read my mail, emails and other obligation. Lunch at 1 p.m. I got back to work at 2 p.m. I leave at 4 p.m. I rest a moment. I cook dinner. I take my English class. I sleep. I sleep. And then I sleep. Okay, I just have a comment with the word that you pronounce here, right? Give me a moment. Ese no es el mismo que tiene acá, ¿verdad? Cristina Roxana. Sí, pero no le terminé de copiar todo. Okay. I me begin. Uh -huh. <laughs> I begin to work and it's dinner. I have dinner. Dinner. Yes, I, I have, have dinner. Dinner. Exactly. Very good. Let's continue. Continuamos. Okay? Let's continue. We have we have this exercise, very easy exercise in which we are going to practice the negative form, right? Change each affirmative statement to a negative statement, simple present, then change each underlined object to an object pronoun. Veamos. We're gonna do it like this way. In this case, look at the example. It says, she reads, the newspaper every morning, okay? Nos dice, ya la tenés en positivo, ahora cambia la negativo. La negativa sería, she doesn't read the newspaper every morning. Pero ahora tenemos que cambiar el object, right? O el noun, to an object pronoun. In this case, the newspaper. She doesn't read it. Este it representa the newspaper. Okay. She doesn't read it every morning. Okay. Now we go with the next one. She works with Todd and Oscar. She works with Todd and Oscar. What is the negative form of this sentence? She works with Todd and Oscar. Negative. She doesn't. She, she doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. Le damos la segunda. Ajá, she doesn't work. Work, work. With. They. With. They. With they. With them. With them. With them. With them. Very good. Uh -huh. She doesn't work with them. Yes. Right? Them. them is taught in Oscar. Taught in Oscar. Okay? So when we say here, Right, Todd and Oscar, right? el object pronoun, no el subject, el object pronoun, the day is them, okay? No utilizamos him. No, because it's two people. Him is only for he. It's only for one. So let's put it here, right? If I have the subject I, Vamos a, se lo, lo vamos a escribir acá para que nos salga más fácil. ¿Ok? If I have I, what is the object pronoun the I? My. 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 Um, or me. Me. 
Me. Me. Me. Me. If I have you, your, 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 are you sure it's your? You, Tammy. You, otra vez? Yours. <laughs> For you is you. you. It's the same. For you is you. Okay. It's the same. Where are we? For you. Give me one moment, guys. For you is you. Es el mismo. Para you is you. Okay. Now he. Him. Him. Yes. Very yeah. good. Him. Him. Uh, Him. For she. Yes. Her. Her. Very good. They. Them. They. Them. Ahí la acabamos de poner. Them. Okay. For we. Us. Us. Very good. For we is us. Very good. Us. Very good. For it. What do you think it. is it? it? It. Very good. These are subjects with their objects. Right? Sujetos con sus objetos. Right? Now, look at this. Pon atención a esto y con base en esto, right, you are going to create your examples, right? Now, my brother, permítame que le voy a pagar a alguien el audio que tiene. Okay. My brother has my book. My brother has my book. Negative of this sentence. My brother my has brother my book. Have it. My brother? Has me. Don't have. My don't. No, my alguien lo dijo correctamente have. al inicio. Doesn't have it. My brother doesn't, ah, doesn't. Right. have it. My brother doesn't have it. Right? My brother doesn't <laughs> have it. Simple as that. My brother doesn't have it. What is have it? Is mm -hmm. Right? It is my book. Okay. Right? My book. Now, let's do the others. Hagamos los demás. Teacher. teacher. Yes. ¿Qué es teaches? Number four. Teachers. Teachers. I teach English every day. Profesores. No. no. Teachers and profesor. Teachers. I teach. teach English every day. ¿Qué enseñar. Es teacher? Enseñar. 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 Okay. Thank you. Teacher, yo no logro captar, no logro captar la idea, lo que les quiero explicar de esos ejemplos. Estamos haciendo, Nancy, la forma negativa de las oraciones. We're making the negative form of the sentences. But after that, we are going to use the object pronouns of the subjects, right? De los sujetos vamos a utilizar, lo vamos a convertir a object pronouns. Okay, para saber, por ejemplo, si es they, va a ser them. En el caso que tenemos dos personas, por ejemplo, Domingo en Carlos, they. Pero en object pronouns is going to be them. Right? Que son estos que vamos a... Aquí están los object pronouns. Solo falta que ustedes los identifiquen acá. ¿Por qué la número tres dice my book? It. Porque my book is a thing. Right? Mm -hmm. Un libro es una cosa. Entonces, no podemos utilizar otro subject para luego convertirlo, sino que es it. Okay. You're welcome.
Did you finish? Not if. Okay. Teacher, for example, the number five. It could be, we don't talk but, with well, them every wait day. Wait a moment, wait a moment so we can share number of the answers, okay? Un segundito, Marlo, para compartir okay. las respuestas que todos Finish. estamos al mismo tiempo. Teacher, una consulta. El singular de fixes. Fixes. Number eight. El singular de fixes. Yes. Number fixes. Eight. Ahí está bien. ¿Es el singular? ¿O cómo, cómo, cómo es que se refiere con singular? Singular ahí está correcto. Fixes. Yo pensé que será plural. No. Fix. That is third person singular, Matías. The verb is fixed. I fix a computer. She fixes fix, a fix, computer. Fix, ah, eso era, eso lo quería preguntarle. Fix, solo es fix entonces. Fix is the verb. Ok. Ok, let's share here. The answers. ¿Ya terminamos la mayoría? Yes. 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 It let's is. go with number four. Number four, Silvia. Number four, she teaches Barbara and me. She doesn't teach us. She doesn't teach us. Very good. That is perfect. She teaches Barbara and me. She doesn't teach us. Excellent. Marlon, let's go with number five. Hey, teacher. I have doubt with this one, I think. It could be we don't talk with them every day. I'm okay. not so sure. We don't talk to them every day. Very good. Our friends. No, they. That is correct, Marlon. We don't talk to them. Our friends, nuestros amigos, ellos, right? We don't talk to them every day. Very good. Cristina. Okay, thanks. Number six. Cristina. Usted. Está lloviendo fuerte. Ah, ok, 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 entiendo. No se preocupe. Sandra, number six. Pero se... 
She doesn't study it. She doesn't study it. She doesn't study it. Okay, very good. She doesn't study it. Very good. Thank you, Sandra. Eh, Alfredo, number seven. Um, seven. He doesn't know her. He doesn't know her. He doesn't know her. Very good. And number eight. Let's see number eight, Walter. He doesn't fix car, cars. He doesn't fix cars. Okay, Walter, how can I change the word cars to an object pronoun? Estamos cambiando. ¿Cómo la cambiaría usted? It. ¿Quiere comodín del público? It. It. Ok, cars. A car is it. Car. But it is in, case, in this case it's plural. Cars is in plural. So what do we use in plurals? It. No, it is for singulars. Vamos, ahí démosle a Walter. ¿Qué pondrían ustedes? No podemos poner it porque it es singular. Then, 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 very well, then. He doesn't fix them, right? Them. Mm, no me había fijado que era plural. It's plural, cars. Uh -huh, right? no if it's fijado. only one. If it's only one, he doesn't fix it. Si es uno. Si son varios, varias cosas, right? Them, they. Okay, very good. Look at the answers. Check your answers. Check your answers. And we will continue. Continuamos. Todavía no, todavía no. Solo captura. Permítame, le voy a poner aquí. Así déjalo. Yes, okay. okay. Good, good, good. What about the others? Ya tomaron su captura? Yes, okay. Let's continue. Seguimos acá con los ejercicios de la práctica del viernes, de la quinta clase. It says here, read the paragraphs, find and correct six more errors with verbs and prepositions of time. So, the errors are in the verbs, los errores están en los verbos y las preposiciones de tiempo. That's where you're going to find the verbs. Look at this. Max Prochar studies in Seattle. The correct form is studies. Okay. Now we're going to look at the sentences, right? I say errores. Right? There are six errors. Look at the verbs in the prepositions of time. Okay. Ahora es que ustedes identifiquen dónde está el error. Ustedes, no. Todos ustedes son teachers no. ahorita y van a ver los errores. He likes right. to bake at Friday. In... Le va a poner mute para que no le oigan. Mm. Ok, very good. Busquemos los errores en verbos y en proposiciones de tiempo.
finish teacher. Thank you so much, William. Finish. Mira Domingo bien concentrado ahorita. Igual Alfredo, que está en trance. Le va a salir humo. I like that. Very good. Vamos a ir viendo oración por, por oración, ¿ok? Me avisan cuando ya estén todos, levanten su manita acá, solo tengo la de José Matías, levante su mano José Matías aquí en el, en el chat, ¿ok? Ya terminó, levante su mano aquí así como dice José Matías, William, Víctor... Nancy... We're looking for errors. Very good. We're looking for errors. Very well, Domingo. Silvia, too. No le miraba su manita, Silvia. <laughs> Very well. Uh -huh. Marlon Vamos Necesito que sea el, La mayoría más uno Para comenzar Solo hay nueve de veinte, así que no. Qué bonito cuando vienen todos a clase, fíjense. Me alegra. Very good, Alfredo, Alberto, also finished. Teacher, tengo poca carga, si se me está el teléfono, este, me voy a meter después. Ok. Lo tengo cargando, pero no se me no, se, no, no carga. Ok, Nancy. Una consulta, teacher. Uh -huh. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es pies? 
Pies. 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 It's like Pies. a cake. It's like a cake that you can eat during holidays in the United States. Actually, if you go to Burger King, there is a pie combo. If al Wendy mm. will, will Burger King, pide un combo de un pie, they will give you a pie, apple pie. Apple pie. Uh -huh. Very delicious. When it's very hot, it's very delicious. But it's like a cake, right? It's like a cake that you eat. It's a dessert, es un postre. Un postre, sí. Well, finish, ¿qué más terminó? Vamos. Marilyn, Alba, Cristina, Walter, Sandra, Carla, Kene, Luis Enrique, Santos, Karina, Maidele. Vamos, que ustedes pueden. Un minuto más. Marilyn Walter. ¿Cómo vamos? Ya, teacher, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver, ¿ok? Walter, ¿le vamos a ver. Ahí para contar cuántos vamos. Santos, Luis. ¿Quién es? Veamos los resultados. Five. Right. Let's see the answers. We're going to put here the sentences, right? It says, well, the first one, well, permítame, lo vamos a poner en más grande acá. ¿Pueden ver la imagen todavía? Yes. 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 Now, in the first one, we have there, right? Max Crochard studies in Seattle. He likes to bake. Is that correct? He likes to bake? Yes. He likes to bake. Yes, yes that is correct. At Friday and Saturday morning, he bake pies. Oh. Uh, no. No. On, on Friday and Saturday morning. Four months. <laughs> On, on and bake. Um, on and bake, okay? What happens with bake? Bake. Bake, very good. Bake. bake. On bake. Friday and Saturday morning, he, he bakes, bakes pies. pies. He bakes, mm -hmm. bakes pies. pies, very good. I'm gonna ask one person, okay? Vamos a ver, vamos a preguntarle a una persona y los demás le ayudamos. Let's see, Silvia. Sylvia, in night, people call or text Max. At night. At night. Very good. At night. Is that the only change we make? Solo eso cambiamos? Go and take. Um, and take for Only that. Very good. Four Only piece. that. Huh? Four piece. People. William, William People. le voy a apagar el micrófono porque tiene bastante sonido atrás. Okay. Domingo, ¿qué quiere cambiar en esa oración? Aparte de at night. People call or text me. People. People, people. people is in plural. Es plural. People is the plural of person. Uh -huh. One person, two people. Uh -huh. Una persona, dos personas. One person, two people. Very good. That's a good question. Right. Ese es el people es el plural de person. Okay. Entonces lo queda correcto. Así va a quedar bien la oración. Right? At night, people call or text Max. 
Now, let's go with the next one. Ayúdame con la siguiente domingo. They order pies and Max delivers them. Is that correct? Or incorrect? Uh, they order pies and Max deliver on day. No, in day. In, in, in them. ¿Por qué in? En. ¿Por qué le agregamos la proposición in them, Domingo? ¿Por qué le va a agregar esa proposición? Dentro de. Eh, in es como en, a, a, eh, dentro. ¿Dentro de ellos? No, es. Peligroso. No. Como es, in, era. Ajá. Ellos ordenan pies y Max se los entrega, pero si le ponemos in them, adentro de ellos, no. van a echar a Max o se pueden morir ellos por esa. Ahí queda bien la oración, Domingo, en este caso. Okay. No le vamos a hacer ningún cambio. ¿Ok? okay. Ellos ordenan los pies y Max se los entrega. ¿Ok? They order pies and Max delivers them. Right? Let's continue. He doesn't drive a car. Marilyn, ¿está bien esa oración? ¿O no está no. bien? No. No. Okay. What is the change? He doesn't, he doesn't drive sin ese, a car. He doesn't drive a car. Very good. He doesn't drive a car. Very well. Let's continue. He rides a bicycle and carries the pies in a basket. Alfredo, do I have to change something in that sentence? Mm, yes, teacher. Carries is carry. Carry. How do you spell that? C A R C A R R. Why only? Why? Okay. He he rides a bicycle and carries pies in a basket. He. We're talking about he, uh, Alfredo. Yes, carries. Mm -hmm. Carries. How do you spell that? Carries. C A R E. Yeah, perdón. I E S E S. Okay. He um, rides a bicycle and carries the pies in a basket. The basket. Very good. Yes. Let's continue with next. Uh, he takes orders until 3 a.m. He takes orders until 3 a.m. Is that correct, Victor David? Yes. Um, no. No? What can I change? ¿Qué le puedo cambiar? He, take, he take, takes order. 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 Only one. Okay. In this case, Victor, right? Orders is okay. You can take one order, two orders, three orders. For example, when you go to, to a restaurant, right? Permítame, voy a cerrar la puerta. Give me a moment. Let me tell you. Sorry, guys. Now, let's continue. Sorry. Hay muchos perritos en la calle. Now, if we, if we say, uh, Victor, you can, if you work, for example, in a restaurant, right, you can take one order, three orders, five orders, 
100 orders, right? El problema no está en el noun, okay? Los problemas deben de estar en el verbo o en las preposiciones de tiempo. En oh, este okay. caso, la oración está... está okay. bien. Yes. Very good. Let's continue. Uy, Dios mío, 10 minutos. Ok. Let's see Miss Alba Dinora. He says, Max Company have a funny name. Have. Have, okay. Have. What is the change? ¿Cómo lo cambio? Or has. Has. Max Company has a funny name. Excellent, Alba Dinora. Very good. Excellent job. And he says, he calls it Pie Cycle. Is that correct, Matias? He, he calls, calls it Pie Cycle. Yes, teacher, está bien. It is correct. Very good. Very good. So we have there, right, the different changes that we're going to make. We have one, two, three, four, five, right? We have six different errors. Tenemos los seis errores que debíamos encontrar, right? Please make sure that you have corrected the correct information, right? Aquí va el pie cycle, miren. This is the pie cycle. Now, ¿puedo borrar estas respuestas? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. No, teacher, lo voy a tomar del sur. Pero todavía no, teacher. <laughs> Me avisan, por favor. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then we continue here, right? With the next ex. Ooh, tenemos ocho minutos, right? In this exercise with eight minutes that we have, right? What we're going to do is to complete the paragraph with the correct form of the verse in parentheses and prepositions of time if needed. The paragraph is called a dangerous job. Okay? The paragraph no está en su módulo porque tenemos que tener más vocabulario. Okay? Ya nos terminamos los ejercicios del módulo. Entonces, de la unidad 1. Entonces, vamos a, vamos, vamos, eh, a escribir estos. Okay? So let's see the examples. We have eight minutes. Let's try to do our best, right? Let's complete the first one, the number two together. Chris Hansen works in Alaska in the winter. Number three is have. What would be the answer here for number three? He has. He has, very good. He has a job on a crab bob. He fish. 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 crabs. Fish. 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 Four crabs. October, in on at. In, in October. In on January. In October, wow. in January. Mm -hmm. from, from, January. From, from October. Mm -hmm. From. From. No, yeah, from. From, from in. October. In January. Two. In. Two. To January. January. <laughs> From October to January. Very good. Chris and the other fishermen drop. Drop. Drop is like this. Okay. Es al final, teacher. Drops. Es al final. Drops. Very good, Nancy. Right? Chris and the other fishermen drops heavy crab pots in the ocean and Oh, but yeah. here, here. Cool. Let's make a pause. Let's make a pause. Veamos acá. Veamos. It says, Chris and 
the other fishermen. Drop. The singular plural is only drop. See la like S. Drop. Heavy crab pots in the ocean and pool. Pool. Mm -hmm. And pull them, them back. back onto the boat a day later. Chris, not like. Doesn't like. Doesn't like. Doesn't like. Very Doesn't good. Doesn't like his job. His job. Very good. Mm -hmm. Eat. It is very dangerous. It is very dangerous. Thank you, Marlon. It is very dangerous on the ocean. Even in bad weather, the work not stop. The work doesn't stop. The work doesn't. Doesn't. The work doesn't stop. The days are very short. Are very, are very short. short. The winter, very good. The days are very short in the winter. The sun doesn't rise. 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 At about. At about. Wonderful. At about 10 a.m. And it. Got you. Go, 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 down. Go, go, down. go down. Right? At around. At around. Very good. 4 p.m. Chris' mother. Worries. 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 About him. She. She says. 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 She says. She says. Very good. Be yes. careful. Very good. Be careful. He says, be careful, Chris. Right? Doesn't fall. Doesn't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Okay? Don't fall. 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 Don't fall off the boat. No te caigas del bote, bicho. Don't fall off the boat. He does. He says. He says. He says. He says. He says. He says don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. Be happy. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. Okay, very good. I'm going to take a screenshot. Vamos a tomar un screenshot aquí de, de esto. Porque mañana vamos a, a practicar la pronunciación. Okay. El lunes. Lunes. Okay. Lunes. We're going to practice the pronunciation of this exercise. Okay? No, para el teléfono. Teacher, teacher, ya está todo, ¿verdad, teacher? De lo de la plataforma. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, let me call the attendance. Tenemos un minuto para pasar la asistencia. Alba Dinora Vides Castillo. Present. Alfredo Alexander Rodas. Present. Carla Maritza Sánchez. Present. Carlos Gualberto Rodríguez. Present. Cristina Roxana Romero de Araujo. Present. Domingo Alexander González. Present. José Matías Lemos. Ahí estoy. Karina Yamilete Espinosa. Ken Elizabeth Banegas, Luis Enrique Bonilla, Marilyn Elizabeth Rodríguez de Pimentel, Present. Marlon Alberto Cardona, Present. Maydeli Judith Díaz, Nancy Lisset Rodríguez, Present, teacher. Sandra Yamilet Velázquez Beltrán, Ay, pagó. Santo Rigoberto Hernández Romero, Silvia del Carmen Flor de María. Víctor David Salazar Calzadilla. Toma atención. Nancy, ponga el micrófono, por favor, apáguelo. Gracias. Ok, let's continue. Vamos a ver acá. 
Eh, Santos Rigoberto Hernández Romero. Silvia del Carmen Flor de María Rodríguez. Presente. Víctor David Salazar Calzadilla. Presente. Walter Daniel González Pérez. Presente. William Eduardo Pérez García. Presente. Thank you very much. So today we finish with this uh, practice right here. And I am mean, going to stay with one person. Según la lista, nos quedamos este día con... Cuando cargue. Lo he Carla. Ay, ay, ay. Bueno, no, pueden no, desconectarse. No. Yo creo que solamente me quedo con... Happy Beautiful Night. Happy Beautiful Night. Teacher, otra vez no me oye, teacher. Have a beautiful night. Have a beautiful night. Sí, me quedo bien. con eh, Nancy Lister Rodríguez Escoto y los demás se pueden desconectar. Have a beautiful okay. night. Bye. Have a bye. beautiful bye. night. Bye, people. Bye, bye. 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 Bye, bye. Ay, teacher. Bye. No. <laughs> Ahorita.